Hi, and welcome to Bloxy. Today we are going to take a look at how to create a fully personalized singular template using the content blocks feature. You'll see what we mean in a bit. Enough with the introduction, let's get started. The place to find the template builder is on your WordPress dashboard, Bloxy, Content Blocks. Click on Add New at the top and sure enough, a new dialog box appears. Select the third option, Custom Template, then select the type as Single. Give it a name, of course. After it's done loading, we're presented with the usual Gutenberg editor. Nothing too complicated or surprising here. First, let's make note of Bloxy's settings here. We start off with the Page Structure options, which let you override what's inside the customizer and control things from here. Having all of these options in one place makes more sense rather than having to hunt around the options in multiple places. We are already accustomed to the conditional module, but if you're not, this lets you specify where you want this template to display. For example, you could select just a category from your blog posts or apply the newly created template to a specific custom post type. Yes, it even does support them. The dynamic content preview option is the most interesting thing here. Because it just wouldn't be right to have the user break their concentration and switch tabs, refresh, switch back, adjust, etc. We've enabled you a way to preview any of your posts or pages directly inside the Gutenberg editor. And very interesting to experiment with. Okay, so to continue on with our demo here, we have prepared some reusable blocks to speed things up. These are composed of standard Gutenberg blocks that support dynamic input. Since these blocks will have their contents replaced with the actual content of your website. But as a bonus feature, you can also insert static blocks. In case you wish to keep everything in one place and not use a million hooks, this is for you. Think and your designs will shine. Okay, before we go ahead and select Publish, let's quickly add the display condition. And we're done. Let's check out the front end. Great, looking sharp as usual. Before we wrap up, we would like to note a very important aspect here. If you decide to use our template replacements options, the customizer will be reduced or completely removed. So it is perfectly normal that these options have disappeared because we give you the choice of controlling everything from one screen, the template builder. This has been done to reduce confusion and streamline options. And that's pretty much it. In this video, we've taken a look at how to create a customized singular template from scratch. It currently supports the Gutenberg dynamic blocks with more support to come in the future. As usual, if you have any questions, a suggestion, or you simply want to share something, feel free to stop by creativethemes.com. We'll be more than happy to guide you through. Until next time, take care.